Welcome to the Centrifuge Tube Overview. This presentation will cover the various tube configurations offered by LK Industries. Let's review the distinguishing features of our tubes. All of our tubes conform to ASTM and API standards, which allow them to be used in regulated environments such as Class 1 Div 2 hazardous locations. The graduated marks are permanently etched and painted to provide greater visibility and durability. Each set of tubes can be customized according to your needs, and they each have a traceable serial number. Wide thread tops and thick tube walls are suitable for higher speed applications. As of summer 2016, all tubes are manufactured and calibrated in-house. We are proud to have received our ISO 17025 accreditation. LK Industries has five core tube types. Finger or type A tubes are typically used with hand crank or mini mountain centrifuges for quick field testing by sales reps or chemtechs. The capillary tips of pear shaped B tubes give more accurate readings. Long cone tubes are ideal for laboratory settings, while short cone tubes are best in transport models with limited space. The short capillary tips of type E tubes are best for refined fuels. The tube threads come in four different configurations. Cork tool top, wide neck threaded, rubber tool top, or standard threaded. The corresponding tops include cork, wide neck twist cap, which I'll point out is great for field use and easy to use with gloves, rubber stopper, or standard twist cap. Markings come in units of either milliliters or percentage. Our most common tubes have a 100 milliliter or 200% capacity. Before centrifugation, oil samples are diluted by half with solvent. For simplicity's sake, let's assume we're using a two-place trending arm in a centrifuge. When using tubes with milliliter markings, to get the actual volume of sediment and water, add the BS and W volumes from the two tubes. Remember, the samples are already diluted by half. Tubes with percent markings, on the other hand, take into account the dilution by doubling the markings. To get the BS and W value on percent tubes, take the average of the two sample tubes. For example, the five milliliter mark on a milliliter tube is the same as the 10% mark on a percent tube. A reading of 10% means there's actually 10 milliliters of BS and W per 100 milliliters. LK Industries standard tubes have detailed markings up to the 10 milliliter mark. Detailed tubes have detailed markings all the way up the tube. When a tube is referred to as certified, it means it is gravimetrically calibrated by an accredited lab. Verified tubes are volumetrically checked at the LK Industries manufacturing facility. Non-verified tubes are sold directly to the customer off the production line without verification. Again, as of summer 2016, the new Miller Weber of Texas in-house calibration lab is ISO 17025 accredited. Now all tubes can be certified in-house. Let's go through some of the terms in naming the tubes. THD denotes a threaded top. WTHD is a wide threaded top. A, B, C, D, or E indicates the tube style. FV means factory verified. AV means actually verified by a certified lab. A number, typically 15, indicates the number of marks that are verified on a tube. 
S10 is for standard markings, while S12 is for detailed markings. For example, a tube with part number S10 DWTHD FV15 is a wide thread, short cone tube with standard markings and is factory verified to the 15th mark. That concludes the LK Industries tube overview. Thanks for your time.